Hey there, my name is Rita Patel and I'm one of the owners of Hotel Trundle with my husband Marcus and uh, we are six years old in April. Hotel Trundle is a six year old boutique hotel. We are independent, meaning my husband and I own this without any kind of a flag. Um, we have 41 rooms with this brand new five room extension and then which brings that number to 46 and then we have two Airbnb styles, um, three bedroom, one three bedroom, two bath, and a one bedroom, one bath called the Dens. Hotel Trundle is a symbol of two people following a dream, doing what is their imagining and, and kind of breaking boundaries as far as what you've been taught forever. Or what about or what a hotel stay should be like? So. It's a culmination of ideas and that actually came to fruition purely by a unicorn opportunity with timing, financing, location, people, community. And so that's what Hotel Trundle is for us. Being part of our community is one of my most proud things of aspects of developing Hotel Trundle because, and I've said this forever and ever and ever, and I will keep saying it, is like shop local use local because it's those local relationships that will get you through the tough times which is exactly what happened during covid but it's also the personality of columbia that shines through and just the attention to detail and we're all speaking the same language you know as small business owners and we get it and that comes through with our products and what we like to share because it's a it's a love it's not a it's not a to-do list it's like we're doing this because we love it Hotel Trundle is what people would think of as far as a traditional hotel experience. You check in, you go to your room, there's a lobby, a fitness room, all of those good things with a really great interior style as well. The Flutter Wing is a semi-private space, so it's a little more intimate with five guest rooms, one of those being the Darling Suite, which used to be home for um, Darling Beauty Salon, which is where it got its name, Darling Suite. And it has this beautiful rooftop patio that people are able to enjoy and just the guests fluttering are able to take advantage of that. This is way more quiet and intimate. Um, and then our Airbnbs are just very much resident style lodging where you have your front door, your back door, there's a backyard, offsite parking, uh, well backyard parking, and you get more of the residential feel when you're staying there. We have always set out since day one to have three hotels. Um, and that's from in you know 2018 when we opened up to whenever we retire hopefully we have recently purchased 1237 Gadsden Street which um, is a little under the radar but uh, we're made we're have some fantastic partners here in Columbia and we're hopefully going to create a new brand um, which I can't really talk about but it's going to be Hotel Trundle 2.0 but um, all the lessons learned from 1.0 leveled up. I think the big gap between the young people that we're looking to retain and the, the things that we have in Columbia is how they're getting their information which is a question I asked during the um, meeting on Monday to those young people on the panel and I feel like we have almost everything that they were talking about they just weren't quite completely educated on it. So um, you want a river walk? We've got miles and miles of that. You want really cool jobs, a hub in the city with walking distance restaurants? We have that too. You know, so I think um, we have all of the pieces and we have all of the talent. It's like bridging that gap. And I think when new businesses come to the community and people like you share our story, we're able to then make our reach a little further and get in the ears and the the iPhones of those people that we're looking to keep.